Hello, welcome to week 20 of my devlog for my sailing game. Now, as you can see, this isn't actually my sailing game. I wanted to show off something that I'd worked with with 10 other people during a 48 hour game jam that happened about three weeks ago. So as you can see, I uh, have no hands. Um, and if I look down here, you can actually see that I have feet. So we wanted to make something that was a little bit different and um, one of the things was is one of our team members really liked the idea of attaching your feet. Now I can tell you from personal experience when I first did this in the game jam, it's quite weird to be able to look down and see your feet are perfectly attached. How this is working is it's actually attached to the foot and I can show a little bit later um, how it worked. But uh, yeah, we wanted to build a game where you actually get to stomp buildings and smash things up. So as you can see, um, I've got some buildings here and if I kick one, I kick it hard enough, it starts exploding. Um, yeah, so it's really fun. You get to walk through and smash uh, so many things. The idea of the game is it's an asymmetrical sort of multiplayer game. If you're looking at the screen that the player would normally see a mirrored view of this, uh, you actually just see um, this other interface that I can show you in a bit. But I wanted to show you some of the uh, gameplay. So for example, if I lift my foot up, it starts charging up and then <sighs> destroy a whole lot of stuff. Um, the sound effects are okay, but I like to make my own. Keep kicking these. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to keep kicking these. It's really fun. Uh, some of the buildings really destroy it realistically. Some of them just sort of explode up. How this works is there's two colliders on the feet, and then it figures out if it's going quick enough. Uh, and then if you hit a building fast enough, it actually explodes. took uh, about 48 hours of 10 people. We wanted to have a big team so we could make something cool. Uh, there's a huge amount of uh, variety in the uh, level of skill that people had there, but it was really, really fun. Um, and as you can also see, you can kick uh, little little guys. They horribly die. Um, you can also squish them. And uh, yeah, the power up's pretty cool. That was a big one. It's a cool concept. I'm sure that someone will come along once those pucks are made and actually uh, make something similar to this. But it was a really fun uh, thing to do. Um, yeah, and the other thing is that uh, in order to get around the room scale, my room scale is quite big at my house, but um, you actually reach down and you click the trigger and then you get to fly around. It doesn't seem to cause me any motion sickness. Um, it's just a linear acceleration, but it allows you to go wherever you want. And you do have to kick the uh, the things at a certain rate, so you just like slide over there. No good, but if you kick them, you go flying. It's quite weird actually stomping things and having your feet attached there. Do one last explosion. Probably should have done all of the uh, things. Oh yeah, and the other thing is that there's a laser in the sky that's trying to kill you. And I can show you the other side of it with some other gameplay footage that we got, but that laser will actually move around based on who is playing the game. Hey, so this is what the player on the computer would see. Um, you're moving your satellite around, and if the player looks up here, they'll actually be able to see the satellite moving above them. The idea is the player is going around and smashing, and you're trying to move all of the civilians out of the way, which uh, if are destroyed, they take out the city's health quite quickly. So for example, I can move around here. One guy did the entire uh, entirety of the 2D section. Uh, and the main thing is that you have to use the huge laser to blast your player. So if you aim over him, it takes three seconds. So you're kind of trapping him around. And uh, yeah, so you can uh, destroy them. So for those that want to actually see how we attach this to the person's foot in real life, I've got two versions here. One is the game jam version and one is the more fancy version that we built after. Uh, so the game jam version is I took the controller, I made a little uh, pouch out of it um, by wrapping the controller in paper and then putting duct tape over it. And this is so that it didn't hurt the controller and then you can actually easily pull it off, um, put it back in because the control will turn off in five minutes. So it was kind of annoying testing. Uh, this was totally fine for development, but it was really annoying to have people try because you had to keep duct taping their uh, legs. And so people didn't want that, especially people that were wearing shorts. Uh, so that was the first version. And uh, if you see what will happen is that if this is my foot in real life and then this is my uh, leg, you put it right about there. So then it would it would be sitting there um, and you could walk around and 
uh, it's pretty solid and it also uh, is pretty easy to line up with um, the leg in the virtual space. So as for the second version, uh, it's a lot better. One of our awesome, really talented uh, team members made this after to demo it. Uh, so you put your foot in like this and then it would be here and then that would be about there. And it still has access to the trigger, which is key to the game. And you sit down, I guess you can't see that. Let's put it up here, you sit down and you can walk around. It was actually pretty easy lining it up with the virtual world and the non-virtual world because unlike your hands, it, they don't move that much. Um, your foot's pretty static and even you don't really notice the fact that um, if you like turn your foot forward and bend your foot like that uh, because of the angle, you don't really notice your foot's bending. So we just attached them to the controller and made sure the controller lined up the same as in real life and uh, it was pretty awesome. So as some of you may have noticed, I haven't released a video in the last three weeks. So right after the game jam, I got really, really sick and I couldn't uh, get out of bed or do any work for about a week. Then I got back into it. I started working on my secret project, which is going very well and actually quicker than I expected. And then I was going to release a video on Monday because the weekend was a little bit uh, messy. And my motherboard, after I got up on Monday to record a new video, my motherboard had died. So this has not been the greatest uh, luck for me in the last two months. As some people may have known, my place got broken into. So yeah, I've really been uh, fighting a lot of stuff. Luckily, the motherboard is going to get replaced as an RMA. Uh, so I went out and bought a new motherboard that's really small because I want to make a smaller computer. But uh, that's good. Um, yeah, but in general, uh, as for the actual sailing game, I have been working on that secret feature. It's going really well. I'm really happy where it is. Um, one thing I can reveal is that I've created a new slider, um, so you just grab it and you can move it up and down and as you move it between the points it actually changes something. But yeah, that's going really well and uh, I'm probably going to release a video next week or the week after, but I don't know. There's been a lot of stuff up in the air, so I'll try and release them weekly, maybe bi-weekly, uh, but that's the reason that it's been uh, three weeks off. So anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to actually post this on Reddit again. Last week was just sort of, or the last time was just a little bit boring, so I didn't post on Reddit. But uh, please let me know your thoughts and let me know how you like the uh, Stomp Smash game. Um, I might be able to find a bill that I can send out to people if they're interested. All right, thanks a lot. See you later. Bye.